वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल ओनली बायो प्रेजेंटिंग ऑफ द नीट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी पेपर एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम थर्टी वन टू फोर्टी ऑल विद डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन दिस क्वेश्चन रिलेट्स विद द चैप्टर ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हॉर्मोन लेवल्स विल कॉज द रिलीज ऑफ ओवन दैट इज ओव्यूलेशन फ्रॉम द ग्राफिन फॉलिकल ए हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ प्रोजेस्टर ऑन बी लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एल एच C low concentration of FSH and D high concentration of estrogen and the correct answer is D that is high concentration of estrogen look on the screen to understand the hormones and their influence in the menstrual cycle remember estrogen levels they peak towards the end of the follicular phase this by positive feedback causes a surge in the levels of LH and fsh this lasts from 24 to 36 hours and results in the rupture of the ovarian follicles causing the oocyte to be released from the ovary hence this is the right answer the next question relates with the chapter animal tissues and the question is goblet cells of alimentary canal are modified from dash and the options are A columnar epithelial cells B chondrocytes C compound epithelial cells and D squamous epithelial cells and the correct option is A columnar epithelial cells look on the screen and understand why is the term goblet used because of the shape that is goblet like the apical portion is shaped like a cup as it is distended by abandoned mucus laden gra granules and its basal portion lacks these granules and is shaped like a stem goblet cells are the modified simple epithelial columnar cells found in the lining of organs like intestine and respiratory tract they secrete mucin that is a glycoprotein and maintains the layer of mucus which facilitates the passage of material through the intestine The next question is snow blindness in antarctic region is due to dash this is an additional question and the options are a inflammation of cornea due to high dose of uv b radiations b high reflection of light from the snow c damage to the retina caused by the infrared rays and d freezing of fluids in the eye by the low temperature and the correct answer for this is a that is inflammation of the cornea due to high dose of uvb radiations look on the screen to understand what is snow blindness because we have heard about color blindness and night blindness so let's understand this snow blindness is also called as arc eye or photokeratitis it is a painful eye condition caused by over exposure to ultraviolet light when too much of ultraviolet light hits the transparent outer layer of our eyes called as a cornea it essentially gives our cornea sunburn snow blindness symptoms can be disorienting but it rarely results in permanent damage to the eye no doubt it is a painful and uncomfortable condition that causes intermittent vision loss and further photosensitivity thankfully snow blindness is a temporary condition and typically it resolves itself within 24 to 48 hours the next question relates with the chapter plant growth and the question is match the following column 1 we have iron zinc boron manganese and column b we have photolysis of water pollen germination required for chlorophyll biosynthesis and iaa biosynthesis that is indol acetic acid and the options are this The correct answer is two. That is, iron required for chlorophyll biosynthesis, zinc needed for IAA biosynthesis, boron needed for pollen germination, and manganese needed for photolysis of water. Let's understand. The total essential plant nutrients include seventeen different elements. Okay. Iron is necessary for photosynthesis and is present as an enzyme cofactor in the plants. So iron deficiency can result in intervenal chlorosis and necrosis. Please remember 
Iron is not a structural part of chlorophyll but very much essential for chlorophyll synthesis. Okay. Now the second that is zinc. It is required in large number of enzymes and plays a role in DNA transcription. A typical symptom of zinc deficiency is a stunted growth of leaves commonly known as little leaf and is caused by the oxidative degradation of the growth hormone auxin. So indole acetic acid this is always an organ of hormone. Now boron has many functions within a plant okay, and it affects flowering and fruiting, pollen germination, cell division and active salt absorption. The metabolism of amino acids, proteins, carbohydrates, calcium and water are strongly affected by boron. Then is manganese which is necessary for photosynthesis including the building of chloroplasts as well. And this uh, is also important in photolysis of water. The next question relates with the chapter biotechnology and the question is BT cotton variety that was developed by the introduction of the toxin gene of Bacillus thuringiensis is resistant to DASH and the options given are A. Fungal diseases, B. Plant nematodes, C. Insect predators and D. Insect pests and the correct answer is insect pests. Friends remember BT cotton is a genetically modified organism that is pest resistant plant cotton variety which produces an insecticide to combat ballworm. Now strains of Bacillus thuringiensis, you might be aware, produces 200 different Bt toxins and each harmful to different insects. Most notably, Bt toxins are insecticidal to the larvae of the moths and butterflies, beetles, cotton ballworms and flies but are harmless to other forms of life. The gene coding for Bt toxin has been inserted into cotton as a transgene, causing it to produce this natural insecticide in its tissues. In many regions, the main pests in the commercial cotton are the Lepidopteran larvae, which are killed by the Bt protein in the genetically modified cotton they eat. And this eliminates the need to use large amounts of broad spectrum insecticides to kill the Lepidopteran pests. This spares the natural insect predators in the farm ecology and further contributes to non-insecticide pest management. Here friends you are likely to be confused between the options C and D and hence I have given you this kind of explanation here. The next question relates with the chapter morphology of flowering plants and the question is ray florets have dash A. Superior ovary B. Hypogynous ovary C half inferior ovary and the inferior ovary. First let's understand the answer that's inferior ovary. Now let's also understand what are the ray florets and where are they present. You can see this in the picture. In sunflower the outer or peripheral zygomorphic flowers are the ray florets whereas the inner or central actinomorphic flowers are known as the disc florets. Now ray floret, the flowers possess extra appendages called as ligules. You can see this on the screen. So the flower is ligulated as well as zygomorphic. It is located towards the periphery of the head, bracteate, sessile, zygomorphic, ligulate. This is how we describe it. Its gynosium is bicarpillary, syncarpus, unilocular, inferior with basal placentation and branched stigma. The next question relates with the chapter Organisms and Environment and the question is The Montreal Protocol was signed in 1987 for control of DASH A. Emission of ozone depleting substances B. Release of greenhouse gases C. Disposal of e-wastes and D. Transport of genetically modified organisms from one country to another and the correct answer for this question is A. Friends, Montreal Protocol is an international treaty designed to protect the ozone layer by phasing out the production of numerous substances that are responsible for ozone depletion. Question number 38 is linked with biotechnology and the question is identify the wrong statement with regard 
to restriction enzymes. And the question is, A, they cut the strand of DNA at palindromic sites. B, they are useful in genetic engineering. C, sticky ends can be joined by using DNA ligases. D, each restriction enzyme functions by inspecting the length of a DNA sequence. And the correct answer is C. I mean, this is a wrong statement. Friends, in sticky end ligation, overlapping regions of complementary single-stranded DNA hydrogen bond to each other. Matlab, yaan par DNA ligase nahi hai. And DNA ligase enzyme jo hai connects the sugar phosphate backbones together. It's DNA ligase which does it and not restriction enzyme. And so it's a wrong statement. Please remember this. Because the question is with regard to restriction enzyme. Here the option is DNA ligase. So DNA ligase no doubt does this. But it is not a restriction enzyme. I hope it's clear. The next question relates with the chapter human health and diseases. And the question is. The infectious stage of plasmodium that enters the human body is dash and the options given are A. Sporozoids, B. Female gametocytes, C. Male gametocytes and D. Trophozoids. And the correct answer is A. Sporozoids. Look on the screen to understand the life cycle of the malarial parasite. The malarial parasite life cycle involves two hosts. During a blood meal, a malaria infected female anopheles mosquito inoculates the sporozoids into the human host which infect the liver cells later and mature into schizones which rupture and release the merozoids. The next question relates with the chapter human reproduction and the question is meiotic division of the secondary oocyte is dash a at the time of population b after zygote formation C. At the time of fusion of a sperm with an ovum and D. Prior to ovulation. And the correct answer is C. In meiosis 1, a diploid cell becomes two haploid daughter cells. Each chromosome has two chromatids, right? So, one cell becomes a secondary oocyte and the other cell forms the first polar body. Now, the secondary oocyte then commences meiosis 2 and is arrested at metaphase and will not continue without fertilization. So, second meiotic division is completed by the entry of the sperm into the secondary oocyte in the fallopian tube. And after this, the secondary oocyte is called ovum. Hope this helps you. Like, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't done. Thank you.